morning, good morning. We are over here at uh, Tim Hortons, if you can probably see that. And we grabbed ourselves a nice cup of coffee. They still have this Christmas logo on here, so I guess they uh, they still aren't over Christmas yet. But hey, we also grabbed ourselves a nice uh, donut up here with some Boston cream in there. Look at that bag, they still got a Christmas uh, theme on there. But anyways, I'm just parked on the street here, so I will get the heck out of here. And we'll make our way home. We are just entering Brandon, Manitoba right now. And as you can see, it's still pretty dark outside. But that's alright. And it's a little bit foggy. Hey, oh well, we got another three hours, exactly three hours from here to uh, Steinbach. I don't know why this light isn't changing. But there's nobody coming on the other side to the end the turning lane, so it doesn't make sense why why this light isn't changing, but yeah, eventually I guess it will. But uh, I am very excited to tell you guys. I know this is already uh, probably going to happen today. What you are going to see in a week from today, you are seeing this video in a week from today. But uh, Trucker Jukebox uh, came up with an idea yesterday, and uh, we were talking away there. And uh, he asked me if I would come on his show there and. Uh, and do an interview with him and on the so on the phone so that's what we did, did and he's going to release that video today I believe he said uh, actually I already saw it on Facebook there that he posted that he's just uh, fixing to put it up so uh, I know this already happened a week ago probably by the time you watch this but I'll probably leave the link down below so you can watch that interview yourself and uh, just wanted to say that uh, he's become a, a good friend of mine. He's, uh, he's certainly in my heart now. He, you know, I, it was the first time that uh, I've ever had the opportunity to actually talk to him. We had talked on Facebook there just via messaging system, you know, but we never actually talked on the phone. And so this was the first time we actually talked on the phone and it was really nice talking to him and he seems to be a really really nice guy so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to permanently put his link on my channel so that we the link is always there and you can find it but we are at the last light up here and uh, it's gonna get super dark here pretty soon so we'll cut it for now and uh, then we'll be back probably in Winnipeg or later on today once the sun comes up because I'm going to be stopping in Winnipeg I'm going to fuel up the truck that way I'm ready to, ready for going out next time again you know here we go we just stopped here in Haddingly Manitoba which is uh, part of Winnipeg it's just on the north side and it's just they call it Haddingly that's what they call it that's what the, I guess, uh, town goes on there or whatever you want to call it because it's just a mile down the road and then you call it Winnipeg. So we are at the Flying J. Well, we are just sort of leaving the Flying J right now, but just fueled up over here and uh, check my Facebook and YouTube accounts and all that stuff. and. Uh, added in the numbers for how much I filled, filled up for over here and I use a uh, app called Road Trip, Road Trip, that's what it's called and I use that to uh, keep track of uh, my fuel mileage on how good I do on uh, fuel mileage and I didn't do too bad on this trip, especially considering uh, up here in Canada where it's colder and wind always windy, especially up there in Saskatchewan. I did uh, 6.22 US miles per gallon. That is uh, not bad 
for in uh, winter time I could certainly do a lot better obviously but uh, that's not too, not too shabby for me I think and uh, what I meant is uh, I checked uh, YouTube because uh, Trucker Jukebox was saying that he is going to uh, put the video with the interview uh, on their on YouTube there this morning and he did I just checked it out and he did uh, did put it on there I'm gonna watch it when I get home because I don't have a lot of internet on my phone and at home I have Wi-Fi so meters, slide right on we'll, uh, we'll watch it once we get home but uh, you know I know for most of it that's going to be on there is it's you know whatever we talked about yesterday which is uh, mostly behind the scene uh, what we have to do to edit up all these videos you know what kind of programs we use and Slide right on. Highway all that stuff you know East and uh, I'm sure most of you will probably have watched that already if, if not I am certainly going to leave the link down below in the description for that video and you can uh, watch it again or, or or watch it if you haven't watched it already and uh, what we're mostly talking about is uh, is the programs that we use and what it actually takes to create these videos and uh, talk about all the stuff that we do you know to create these videos and uh, all that stuff you know that we usually don't talk about on a regular basis or on a, on a regular daily vlog you know and uh, what I wanted to Continue say to those road, people out there kilometers. that think that's easy to make a video you better think twice about it because uh, it certainly isn't isn't easy uh, making a making a video, you know. Especially putting it all together and uh, you know, added all the stuff out that you don't want in there and put it all together to make it look as best as you possibly can. That takes a lot of time and effort to put into that and. Uh, we always have uh, people out here that, that uh, you know, click on the dislike uh, uh, option on there, you know. And uh, I would, uh, I would want to challenge those people. Instead of just uh, disliking the video, I would challenge you guys to uh, uh, basically uh, come out from behind the curtain. Uh, I would like to call it that way and uh, instead of just clicking on the dislike button or whatever i would say suggest leave that dislike button alone and then uh, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below you know if you if you don't like something or whatever uh, leave me a comment down below and that way i can see what you don't like about the video or whatever and uh, i certainly do read mo uh, all of the comments uh, I, I don't get a lot of comments yet so so far I get to all of the comments and I will consider your uh, your your complaint or your your comment whatever you have if you have suggestions that uh, where where I could do things better or whatever I will certainly uh, take that into consideration and I will see if that's uh, that's going to be something that's going to be positive to my channel then I will certainly implement that if I possibly know how to and if I if I can you know uh, but uh, just clicking on the dislike button you know then we can not see who you are and and that just gives us bad ratings you know and it's uh, it's hard enough for us out here already trying to put these videos together and then you guys go and dislike the video you know and I would certainly challenge you, uh, instead of doing that, leave me a comment down below. That way I can see who you are and uh, I can also uh, make changes to the channel, you know. That way that way we know what, what, what you don't like or whatever. And, and it certainly uh, gives us an idea on, uh, on where we can pr improve and we can always improve, that's, uh, that's for sure. But if you just click on the dislike button and then don't let us know what you don't, what you didn't like, then we have no way of knowing what you didn't like, and uh, then then we can't make the changes to, to you know to try and try and improve the channel or to try and improve the videos, you know. But 
Yeah, that's just, just my idea. Anyway, some people are probably not going to be too happy that I talk about this. A little bit of a touchy subject to some people, but uh, hey, you know, I'm just trying to improve my channel and uh, get more subscribers and, and uh, do the best that I can, you know. And uh, I don't know, uh, you know, if you think it's easy uh, making a video like this, uh, put them together yourself and try it out yourself. I guarantee you it isn't that easy, you know. You're not going to be very com comfortable in front of the camera because you know thousands of people may view your video and then putting it together and uh, you know added them all together it's, it's it's a hard job and then put the right music in there or whatever and then there's all these people out there that you know are going to say oh we didn't like that music or we didn't like that music or you know uh, we, we want more scenery or we want more of you talking or you know Everybody likes the videos to be a little different, you know, I, I won't be able to uh, implement everybody's idea, you know, uh, that's just the no way it's going to be, but ahead. anyways, uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, my interview there with uh, the trucker jukebox there, and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to, uh, to the day where we will meet up and uh, we will uh, put a video together. We'll have uh, have an interview together where we are on video, where it's not just going to be on the phone. But we certainly did enjoy talking to him, and uh, I, uh, you know he's got a good channel out there, and, and I, I think he's a good man. And I certainly uh, do watch uh, most of his videos. I don't get uh, get to view all of his videos because I don't have a lot of internet uh, on my phone, so I don't. Uh, get the chance to watch every single one of them but I certainly try most most of the times I watch most of them you know and I certainly recommend you guys uh, checking his channel out as well you know because he's got some interesting vi videos and he's got you know uh, different angles of, of things than I do and uh, he's going to different areas that, that I probably never go to or or whatever you know and you get to see what what he's up to and what he's doing and where he's at different sceneries and he's got uh, two little dogs with him all the time you know for, for those of you that, that love dogs you know he uh, he has them on there and I, I, I like dogs too but uh, I don't know I I just I'm different in that I, I don't like him to be in the truck or in the house or anything like that but that's just me everybody else is different like I grew up in South America I don't know if we got that on tape there or not, but I was telling him that I, I was actually born in Bolivia, and I grew up, I grew up in Paraguay. My parents moved to Paraguay right after I was born, and so my uh, my language is actually uh, German, low German, but in the school I had high German, so I do speak high German as well, and I also learned a little bit of Spanish because uh, that's a Spanish country, so I. I I do speak enough that I can communicate a little bit, but uh, I won't brag that I'm very good at Spanish, but some of you probably like my accent, or some of you might not, and some of the times I may not say things the, the right way or whatever, you know, uh, but that's just the way it is. Uh, I don't know every word of the English uh, language. Some, some words I may say different, or uh, I don't know what, what everything is called, you know. Yeah, anyways, uh, we are going around the perimeter on uh, on uh, around Winnipeg here right now. We shall be home in about an hour. I should be home. We'll probably go wash the truck and uh, well, we'll we'll drop our trailer first, and then we'll uh, do our paperwork, and then. Uh, go home and uh, drop off most of my stuff and then I'll probably take my son along again and uh, we'll go wash the truck and then I'll go home and I'll uh, I'll start a, start a fire at home I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start a nice big fire so that way that uh, gets going and then uh, we will have a birthday party uh, barbecue for my dad, he, uh, he, uh, his birthday was yesterday, so today we're going to celebrate his birthday, and uh, we'll have him over, and then uh, we will probably.
probably have some nice beef barbecue ribs. That's what I think we shall have tonight. So I know some of you guys are probably getting hungry by now, <laughs> since I told you that. But anyways, uh, that about should do it for now, I think. And we shall see you later on. This is a very, very nice view to me. You know what this means? This means I am coming into my hometown of Steinbach. Yeah. I know for those of you that watch Trucker Josh a lot, he comes through this town quite often too, so you probably are getting a little bit familiar with this uh, town, but or city, whatever you want to call it, but this is what I call home too, so here we are. Got one mile to go and I will be at our terminal and we will be dropping our trailer. Well, here we are at home and uh, me and uh, Larry were actually uh, talking about yesterday uh, what we uh, put in the diesel to uh, prevent it from freezing. And uh, I had mentioned that uh, I use uh, kerosene uh, every once in a while, you know, when it gets cold, when it gets super cold, I put kerosene in the diesel to prevent it from freezing right and I just wanted to show you guys what kind of kerosene I use I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it but this is the stuff that I use it's really clear as you can see it's a uh, clear kerosene and there is different type of kerosene so uh, just be careful what you buy and whatever you know but I just figured I'd show you guys that and here we are outside I just started up the campfire up here or whatever you want to call it and we will have ourselves a good barbecue tonight already we are outside and you probably know what that means eh oh yeah I'm gonna show you right now we are barbecuing yeah, it's gonna take a little while till the smoke clears, but we got some nice beef ribs up there We got some chicken thighs up here, whatever That is starting to look pretty good. I would say Oh Yeah, I am getting hungry. It looks like it's almost done too Well, this is the cake that we purchased for dad Got a couple of candles he hasn't seen it yet, I don't think. But we want to surprise him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Ben Hart. Happy birthday. 